Okay, so we need to talk real quick about a lot of conversation going on about the Fuji cameras and the focusing and the sharpness and blah, blah, blah. Um, first of all, I need you to understand that th this is what I do for a living and whenever I show you any imagery or talk about any settings, it's because I'm using it in the field. And what I mean by that is, like my wedding last weekend, you know, you have hundreds of people that you're walking around this low lit room that you're photographing them. And, you know, because I've been a little bit cautious on whether or not my Fuji files are sharp, I'm in this habit of shooting and then when I get a chance, look in the viewfinder, you know, cause you can see the image nice and close and way clearer. And um, it makes me feel good that I'm getting sharper images. And it, it has gotten to the point to where I've been shopping other camera brands, you know? And honestly, I don't want to because I love my Fuji files and I, I do like how my cameras work. Now, I'll be honest, the X-H2S, you know, this body, there's, there's nothing really fancy about this body, like nothing. It doesn't look any different to me than my Canon 5D Mark II I was using way back in the day. You know, it's just a body. So when somebody says the Sony cameras don't have any soul, um, I don't care. <laughs> I just want sharp images. You know, I want faster tracking. I want faster, I just want to know I have the shot quicker than me hoping I have the shot. Well, this video, I want to show you a couple of things that I noticed on my last wedding. First of all, 98% of these images out of here are beautiful. Beautiful. And maybe it's because I'm more self-aware of how I'm shooting. And what I mean by that is this. Number one, whenever you are photographing handheld, okay, if you, especially if you're not using a flash, if you are handheld ambient light and you're squeezing, this is what you need to do. Whatever the zoom is on your lens, whatever lens you are using, okay, this is a 16 to 55, okay? So round 55 up to 60, okay? Round it up. Double that two times. So 60 to 125 to 250. Without a flash, you should be hand holding your shots at 250th of a second, that's your shutter speed. That will give you more consistent, sharp images. Just because you're in a low light room and you wanna drag that shutter for the background. Um, two things, first of all, it should be about your subject, your shooting, not really the background, you know? I do like a nice balance of the room, but don't judge how to photograph your people according to the ambient in the room. Do the opposite. What do I want to do to shoot in this room? I don't want to go higher than 1600 ISO. I'm going to handhold these things, but I do have a flash. So how am I doing this? Okay, let me show you this. This shot right here is soft, it's blurry, okay? And I knew I put it on 60th of a second. Okay, now granted, when I photograph weddings, I am all up in their grill. I mean, I'm on the dance floor with them, I'm close, I'm in the action, I'm moving, dude. So when I'm taking pictures, I'm very aware I need to stop for the picture, keep going, yeah, stop, get the picture. If you're shooting and moving, you're, you're gonna get blurry shots regardless. Focus is not gonna stay on where it needs to be, blah, blah, blah. But look at these images, how they're blurry, they got some movement to them. It's because I was at a 60th. I was doing a room shot of everybody dancing and I wanted blurry shots of them moving. I was fine with that, you know? But for the life of me, something happened and I just went in for the shot and didn't change my darn settings. I didn't change my shutter speed, you know? So it took me, I don't know, 20 plus shots to realize, oh snap, I'm on a 60th. That's great. So it's like, okie dokie, let me go to the side change my shutter to 1 60th, you know? So it's fast enough. Look at these images at 1 60th. The reason why I'm showing you this stuff today, okay, is one, I've been really happy with the results out of this camera. I'm not gonna lie. After the last update of a 7.0, 
when the focus thing seemed to work, I was like, that's it, I'm not updating anymore. Fuji, I don't know what you're doing. By accident, your firmware updates or throwing focusing abilities out of the system on most models. This thing was, was weird on me, um, an update ago. Now that this thing works, I'm not doing updates. If your camera's working fine, leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone, dude. Firmware upgrades are usually bug fi fixes, you know? So if there's nothing to fix in the camera, leave it alone, dude. So let's just go from the camera works fine. No matter what camera, I don't care if you can, it's Sony, Pentax, it doesn't matter. If you're hand holding natural light images inside, just know, I mean outside too, but if your heart is beating, you're breathing, you're moving. I don't care if you hold your breath or not. You're, you're, you're moving whether you like it or not. So whatever your zoom is on your lens, double it two times. That's what your shutter should be. And when you go there and you're like, GK, wait a second, it's, it's still way too dark for me. Well, that's why you get the lenses that go to the 1.4. Open up your eye to allow more light. Crank up your ISO, allow more light. What about the grain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightroom has amazing noise software, AI in their classic version. It's a uh, freaking amazing. And um, between you and me and four walls, normally on wedding receptions, I am photographing at 4,000 ISO when I'm shooting candids because I want all the light I can, but I still want to shoot fast enough and I don't want to have to go to 1.4. I still want uh, 2.8, 3.5, just because depth of field I want. You know, uh, creatively, I love my Viltrox 1.4, standing off to the side, zooming in for some sniper shots, making those black and white, being RT creative. I love that, man. I love using all of your tools. But I just wanted to clarify when certain people, that's my phone, when certain people are talking about things don't look good, I'm always asking, show an image, man. Go to the Facebook page, show the image you're talking about. Because the image will show me what you did to capture that image. It's not always the camera. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go answer this phone. That was not planned, but conveniently, conveniently awesome. All right, see you in the next video.